morning. Looking for good for the uh, kiddos in that classroom today. Nice and comfortable yeah. today. You know, more comfortable than yesterday. Hit highs at 84 yesterday. Today, our afternoon highs around 74 degrees. So not as warm. It's also going to be dry with a mixture of sunshine and high clouds. The humidity has dropped significantly too. Upper 50s right now in New Bedford, 61 in Providence, 57 in Smithfield beautiful sky in North Kingstown. You're likely to see some of this high cloud cover around over the course of the day today. Newport, mostly clear conditions there. A cooler stretch begins with temperatures not hitting 80 in that seven day forecast. We're also tracking, of course, Hurricane Dorian. We will get some impacts from it tomorrow night and Saturday morning and then improving conditions over the weekend. They are seeing uh, Dorian here making a very close pass to Charleston right now. It's about 80 miles offshore of uh, the holy city of Charleston. They call this area the low country, very low elevations there. They're prone to flooding, just sometimes a normal high tide cycle. So they're likely to get some significant storm surge flooding, especially uh, from Isle of Palms and points north uh, with a category three hurricane, 115 mile per hour sustained winds moving to the north at seven miles per hour. This is a look at the wind field with this storm. It's a large storm now, so even with the track of it well offshore of southern New England, likely tapping into, uh, based on the latest track, some potential tropical storm force winds. Looking at 110 mile an hour winds as this comes very close to Wilmington, North Carolina, and the Outer Banks uh, during the nighttime hours tonight and early on Friday. Then it moves out into the water south. Of Nan uh, south of southern New England is a category one hurricane expected now to have 80 mile an hour sustained winds. Notice again, we had that little bit of yellow that creeped into the Cape and Nantucket. That's where we have that tropical storm watch. That yellow means tropical storm force winds again could see gusts as high as 60 miles per hour on Nantucket and the Outer Cape. This is a look at the rainfall timing. We'll see increasing clouds and in high clouds during the day today, but a mostly cloudy day for tomorrow. A couple of showers during the afternoon, light and spotty, but the main batch of the outer edges of Dorian, this rainfall likely to spread in Friday night. So this is at 11 o'clock at night, a period of rain and gusty winds. When you wake up on Saturday morning, still fairly stormy out there. It's going to feel like we're in a in a nor'easter, and then that will clear out. And we're looking at drier weather returning uh, by late morning or early afternoon on Saturday. As far as the rainfall goes, Friday night the heaviest rain closer to the center of the storm. Again, bearing the brunt of this for New England will be Cape Cod. And Nantucket could get over two inches of rain in a few spots uh, closer into Rhode Island. We're looking anywhere from a half an inch of rain to an inch and a half of rain. Ocean impacts seven to 10 foot waves just offshore. That's going to lead to high surf and dangerous rip currents along our coastline. Those east northeasterly wind gusts along places like uh, Nant uh, Narragansett, Charlestown, Westerly Friday night, Saturday morning. It could gust up to 45 miles per hour. Today, the winds are much lighter out of the southeast at five to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures are comfortable 70 to 75 degrees. We're looking good for any outdoor plans that you might have today. Cooler tonight, waking up in the mid 50s tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy skies, a chance of a shower in the afternoon, better chance of rainfall later in the evening and nighttime hours. And we're start off stormy Saturday. I do expect us to get back to partial sunshine. It's going to be a chilly start to the weekend, close to 70 degrees. Sunday is high in the mid 70s, and it's looking like a beautiful late summer day on Sunday. But just a heads up if you're trying to get one more trip into the beach, likely to see a high risk for rip currents. Your updated forecast.